dear viewers welcome today i shall discuss about testing procedure of vector group y and d 11 and d y and 11 of transformers please watch the video why is the test performed the vector group test aims to verify the phase sequence and angular difference between the high voltage hv and low voltage lv windings how is the test performed the general steps to verify transformers vector group involves are isolation the transformer must be completely isolated from the power source and any other equipment to ensure safety short circuit short circuit a specific terminal on the hv side with a corresponding terminal on the lv side as example hv r phase and lv r phase this connection is crucial for establishing a reference point voltage application apply three phase voltage 400 volt to the hv terminal this minimizes risks associated with high voltage during the testing phase voltage measurement measure the voltage between various terminals on both hv and lv sides according to predefined set of connections outlined in a table or test procedure for that specific vector group comparison and determination compare the measure voltage values with the expected values for the specified vector group for example for a wind d11 transformer after connecting the hv neutral to ground and joining one hv terminal to a specific lv terminal voltages between specific points would be measured and compared to the theoretical values to confirm the vector group discharge windings after completing the test discharge the transformer winding before energizing the transformer again to ensure safety now we are going to test vector group of the transformer yndd11 in the yndd11 transformer designates a specific winding configuration and phase relationship between primary and secondary winding specifically it indicates a star connected primary with a neutral point to earth and a delta connected secondary winding and a 30 degree phase shift with secondary voltage lagging the primary voltage after connecting the hv neutral to ground and joining one u of hv winding to to u of lv winding voltage s to be measured between specific points according to predefined conditions for satisfying the relations of yndd11 was the vector group diagram and conditions if the measure voltages satisfy the relations of given conditions 
to be YND11, then it would confirm the vector group is correct. Open all HV and LV terminal connectors. Kift connect the neutral point of the star connected winding to earth. Join 1U of the HV winding and 2U of the LV winding together at test board. Apply a 400 volt 3 phase supply to the HV terminals. Hence, measure the voltages between specific points and record this in a table form. Verify the measured voltage according to preset conditions. Here we see the results satisfying the all conditions of vector group YND11. Hence, vector group is YND11 confirmed. Now, we are going to test vector group of transformer DYN11. Please watch the vector group diagram of the vector group DYN11. Here, primary winding is connected in delta configuration and secondary winding is star connected with a neutral to earth. A 30 degree phase shift with secondary voltage lagging the primary voltage. If the measure voltage between specific points satisfy the preset conditions for being vector group DYN11, then it would confirm that the vector group the transformer is correct. Join 1U of HV winding and 2U of LV winding together at testing board. Apply 400 volt supply to HV terminals. Measure the voltages and record these in a table.
verify the obtained voltages with the preset conditions. The conditions are satisfied. So, the vector group DYN11 is correct. Thank you for watching this video.